Today's apologists claim creating life from non-life is impossible. The idea that non-life cannot create life is a common creationist claim. It stems from the fact that we currently only see life reproducing from other life. Abiogenesis is the idea that life arose spontaneously from the inorganic chemistry of the prebiotic earth billions of years ago. As with every hypothesis, one must ask, if this explanation is true, what evidence should we expect to find? Four billion years ago, the Earth's atmospheric and surface conditions were dramatically different from what they are now, so we wouldn't expect to see abiogenesis occurring today. But what we would expect to see is that prebiotic conditions should be able to create the basic building blocks of life. So researchers did exactly that. They used a reducing atmosphere, containing ammonia, methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, hydrogen sulfide, water, etc., and combined it with the expected temperatures, atmospheric electrical activity, and ultraviolet light of an early Earth, and let them cook for a while. They found that even under a wide variety of different prebiotic conditions, it only takes a few days to spontaneously form dozens of the complex organic molecules essential for life. The repeated heating, cooling, and irradiation of these molecules, as would be expected on a prebiotic Earth, can also cause the spontaneous formation of ribonucleotides. And ribonucleotides exposed to certain natural clays can spontaneously assemble into strands of RNA. Not only is RNA capable of self-reproduction, which is a fundamental requirement for life, but it's very close in structure to DNA, which is the genetic blueprint for almost all life. Furthermore, the most primitive life on Earth is actually based on RNA, so finding a natural pathway to the formation of RNA is a huge step. Not only that, but simple fatty acids that also form naturally in prebiotic conditions automatically assemble into structures resembling cell membranes. And under the right conditions, DNA inserted into those cell membrane-like structures can successfully replicate. Another problem with the claim that it's impossible to create life from non-life is that we've already done it. Scientists have created a new genome out of off-the-shelf chemicals and inserted it into an empty cell that was stripped of its DNA. The new synthetic life form then booted up and began reproducing exactly like natural life. Also, using only basic evolutionary techniques, researchers have successfully turned single-celled organisms into multicellular life, something that was previously assumed to be a highly complex process. This does not mean we have figured out the entire process that led to the formation of the first life, at least not yet. But since all of the critical initial steps occur automatically under completely natural conditions, this is powerful evidence in support of abiogenesis. And keep in mind that nature had a massive number of these chemistry experiments going on all over the planet for hundreds of millions of years before life evolved. That can turn an extremely unlikely individual event into something almost certain to occur. Although the evidence supporting abiogenesis so far shows that the odds are not nearly as long as creationists claim. Thus, claiming it's impossible to create life from non-life is a bet I would never make.